Washington Macaulay Enterprises. Please do like, share, subscribe, and keep sharing, as well as turn on the notification button so that anytime we upload a new video, you're going to be notified. And thanks for watching and keep watching. What we'll be discussing on is an MCC panel, which is used to feed jet fans. As you can see, this is the name of the panel, which is MCC P2 TGF. It is used to feed number of jet fans. Okay. As you can see, on the outer part of the panel, we have three indicator lights, ROYB. As I did mention, it is used to indicate the healthiness of the supplies. On the side here, you see the first part that you see is for one particular jet fan, which is GF01, B2, T, GF01. And then it has an indication light for low speed run, low speed trip, high speed run, and high speed trip. This indicates the fan is running on low speed. This indicates the fan, the fan that is running on low speed has tripped once you see this light on. And then on the other side is the high side of the fan. Below it's low speed start. This is when you start the fan at low speed. And then this other part you start the fan at high speed. And then here is the stop push button when you want to stop the jet fan. And then on this other side, you see a selector switch which has a hand of an auto. So the hand is for manual, auto is automatic, and then the off is putting off the fan. So if I turn it to hand, therefore means I have to operate this fan or the jet fan on manual condition. Therefore means I have to press the start button in order to put on the fan either at low speed or at high speed. And then if I turn it at off, therefore means the fan will be shut off. There is no power given to the fans. If I turn to auto, it means the fan will auto operate automatically by the help of BMS or through the fire alarm system. Well, we have third party cables that are living from a relay control model in order to feed or give supply to the fans for it to function in, in automatic condition. Okay, in the case of BMS, it will be operated from the BMS control room. And in the case of fire alarm system, it will be operated from the fire alarm control center or probably by the use of the relay model like I mentioned, the third party cable is going to drop inside the panel, which I will explain that. And then in the case of fire condition, that is if the fans are and off, it will turn on automatically in order to push out the smoke in this room and then send it outside. I will put it at off now. The next will be for B2T JF2, that is the number two jet fan. The third jet fan, the fourth jet fan, eight, six, seven, and eight, then nine jet fans. So this panel is feeding nine numbers of jet fans. And then, like as you saw here, the low and high speed therefore means this fans or the jet fans are two, it's a two speed control fan. So therefore means the motor will be controlled by two speed starter. Okay, I'll open the panel so we can see inside. Okay, inside the panel, what we'll be able to identify now will be our safety protection. For example, now we have an incomer which is coming and then heat on the MCCB. This is an MCCB which is rated 100 amps, which will fit the whole entire panel. So the MCCB, and then on the side here we have an aluminium bus bar, on this other side we have also an aluminium bus bar so this boat bus bar we have the first one which is for neutral as you can see here and so the incoming supply comes the neutral will be terminated here and then on the other side will be the head bus bar as you can see this is the head indication then the head conductor will be terminated on the other side as you can see termination is already done and then down here, this is a chamber which has post bars which connects 
the three faces R Y B. So the R face, Y face, and the B face, which is the blue face, will be connected to the post bar, and then the post bar now connects to the other part of the panel. On the other side, we have cartridge fuses. As you can see, I will open one of them from Schneider Electric. This is one of them. This is a cartridge fuse which is being connected in the panel as well. So these are just protective fuses. And then below we have a transformer which has an input of 230 volt at the primary side of the transformer and then at the secondary it steps down the voltage to 24 volt DC. Below we have isolator switches which receive power from the downstream of the MCCB model case circuit and then it fits the isolator switches and then below now from the isolator switches output it goes and then fits the different contactors as you can see below so once I turn on this is off I turn on the isolator switch it powers the contactor the contactor will be powered once it's powered we know how contactors function because these are two speed motors so this km1 km2 represent one motor this is a two speed starter as i mentioned previously so from here it goes and then fit the motor from the up so the two contactors will have the two different runs which are going to the motor so we have motor one motor two motor three motor four on the other side which i will open and then we will have to discuss about that as well below we have single pole release which are powered with 230 volt ac so this 230 volt ac will energize the coil of this single pole release in order for the auxiliary contacts to function normally or properly below also we have single pole release as well which are used for the control part of this panel and then on this side we have these are the push buttons which are used to control the motors as we discussed outside okay i'll open the other side as well on the other side now below we have cartridge fuses which we saw in the other side and then below we have contactors the full contactors below again we have single pole relays which are powered with the same 230 volt supply and then above here now we have connectors which are indicating a particular motor so therefore means this is motor one motor two motor three motor four motor five motor six seven eight and nine as we saw outside on the indication lights which are nine different jet fans feeding from this mcc we have also here the bus bar which we have connected our earth conductors as well for the individual runs of cable coming from the jet fans so these are the two runs now motor one we have first run and then the second run which is connected to the motor with the jet fan so the first will come to the high speed the low speed side and then the second comes to the high speed side as you can see um, below we have the high speed is 1.10 kilo uh, kilowatts and then the low speed is 0 0.23 kilowatts so the high speed will be con will connect the cable to the high speed and then the low speed will connect the other cable so based on what you see on the low schedule calculations have been done based on the high speed what will be the size of cable to be used for a high speed usually for a high speed since it demands it has a high capacity of power so the cross-sectional area of the cable also is usually high so if you see a high a, a high cross-sectional area and a low cross-sectional area which are living from one particular motor therefore means the high speed would be the highest cross-sectional area of the cable as you can see everything is being connected and then top here we have bonding which is done as well so we have bonding which is connected to the the head link of the gland the copper gland as you can see we've done the looping all together and then bring it to the head bar so everything is bonded 
as you can see. Why do we burn this? We burn this so that we can, it will be connected to the armoring part of the cable because this is an armor cable which have strips of armor inside the cable. So therefore means when we do this bonding, we automatically add the armoring part of the cable as well. Thank you very much for the lessons. If there is any critics or anything to be added to this video, you just comment below so we can make adjustments in the next video. Thank you. Washington Makoko Enterprises, please do like, share, subscribe, and keep sharing as well as turn on the notification button so that when anytime we upload a new video, you're going to be notified. And thanks for watching and keep watching.